Hello and welcome to Commodity Champions. I'm Anisha Gupta. And the natural diamonds industry seems to be under a bit of a pressure with the prices falling nearly 6% in this year alone. As per the Zeminski Global Rough Diamond Price Index, the prices have declined by almost 30% from its all-time highs hit in August 2022. Now, experts blame many factors for the decline in the diamond prices and the diamond demand as well, whether it has to do with economics globally or with the Indian markets as well. But going forward, what is really that the street is looking for and what are the expectations from the new government now for that we are now joined by mr vipul shah he is from gem and jewelry export promotion council mr shah hi thank you so much for joining us well uh, first of all in the prices itself because that really seems to be a big blazing headline with the kind of decline that we've seen in diamond prices what would you give that to uh, good evening manisha and thank you first of all i would say uh, the prices has gone down is all on demand and supply and currently if you see there are a lot of challenges last year and there was a correction in prices. Uh, if you see, uh, U.S. markets have performed well as far as our exports are concerned. But at the same time, Far East, where uh, China is a, one of the major consumers, and that has been completely post-COVID, it has not picked up at all. So that was the main cause because we cannot uh, forget that kind of big market because 40% of the market share is with China and around the, uh, surrounding countries. So that was one of the reasons where there was a demand, a demand, issue, a demand supply issue. And that has been now taking place because one thing is very important in the natural diamond process. You know, where the supply is concerned, the supply can be controlled. So that's a very positive sign. And I'm confident with the recently uh, JCK show, which took place right now just last week, uh, which got ended. And there was a strong uh, uh, sentiment, uh, sentiment for good, spirit for high, the US market is yet looking good, data go there is yet uh, good. So we personally are confident that the U.S. market will perform well for this year, as well as for uh, Farish, we'll be working hard on this Chinese market. We need to spend on more on marketing and we'll make sure that the diamond, uh, diamond desire is there for everyone. Mm. Uh, you know, since you've mentioned, and that was a question that I was going to take later on in the show, Mr. Shah, but, uh, you know, Diamond as uh, as a product has been all about emotion, sentiment, pushing it through uh, in various forms through the year. But would you say that there has been a bit of a lack when it comes to advertising, campaigning, marketing Diamond in the last couple of years, perhaps? Yes, I personally feel this is a segment where we need to work together. It's all, uh, it's all the stakeholders of this uh, industry need to come together. There has to be enough spending to be done because we need to understand what exactly and in which market why the sentiments are down and especially we need to run out run the program accordingly to that market. So currently we don't see any issues as far as US markets are concerned. The demand over there is strong, but as far as Chinese market is concerned, you have to understand one thing: the Chinese people post COVID they lost a little bit confidence on this uh, on this segment as such because when uh, after COVID uh, during because during COVID times they found it difficulty to encash it. And that was the one of the major reasons. So we need to bring down, bring back the consumer confidence in this product, need to bring down with the marketing campaign, emotions, and to believe in this product. And I'm sure with a good amount of marketing spent, this segment will be doing good. Well, absolutely. For the last couple of years, Mr. Shah, I mean, I myself as a consumer haven't seen much spoken about Diamond in a good light, in a saleable light. So would you say that a lot needs to perhaps work on? Because what we perhaps see right now is individual jewelers, individual diamond tiers talking about diamonds, but not collectively as an industry. Yes, that's right. So that is where now we all are working. The council is also working to bring all the stakeholders together and we make sure that for this segment, uh, we'll be spending a lot on the marketing campaigns and into the areas of market where this funding is required. Hmm. Mr. Shah, you spoke about China and you also spoke about US, but within the Indian market as well, the industry has been slightly jittery here. We've seen that last year. As you said, the supplies were stopped at one point in time to ensure that the markets could be corrected or balanced well. For the Indian markets now, whether it's about imports, exports, or the domestic demand for diamonds, the consumption, how are you looking at all of those numbers? Uh, to be honest, the domestic market has really performed well. You've seen that it is growing. And uh, you see, like, almost more than 3,000 stores, new stores are coming up. But yes, there is a pinch of slowdown. And I think it will consolidate and it will take some time. And again, but uh, domestic market looks good for the year 2024. Mm. And what's your sense on the import numbers as well? Because the latest council data that I look at in the first quarter, does it does show a mixed sentiment there, while gold as a commodity continues to outperform, not the same case again with diamonds. 
Yeah, I agree with you. We, I was just looking to the data for the first two months, April and May. The, the diamond segment, both in Lebron as well as in natural, we are down by almost 15%. But overall, we are at flat as far as exports are concerned compared to last two months because plain gold jewelry has uh, performed really well. And that is because all thanks to our uh, Commerce Minister, Mr. Piyush Gurji, for the FPAs, which has really helped for this segment. Mm -hmm. How are you looking at uh, overall category also doing? But it, Because it's not that the, uh, the whole market doesn't perform. Uh, would you say that the smaller diamonds perhaps have continued to do well or the higher category or carriage diamonds have done? How are you segregating the whole industry? See, there are two, uh, two ways to look at. One is on the demand point and one is uh, profitability. On the demand front, uh, we don't see any issue as far as the small diamonds are concerned. Yes, they are on the la on the la high large sizes. Yes, there are certain issues as far as demand is concerned. But again, in small sizes, there is a big issue as far as the midstream is concerned. The profitability is the where we all are fighting. So yes, uh, uh, with the profitability back into the business, demand can be created with well marketing spend. I personally feel this segment of natural diamond should be performing well compared to last year. Hmm. So going forward now, how do you look at the India strategy, Mr. Shah? Uh, what is it that you're looking for as the new year begins? What is it that you're anticipating from the government as well in sense of policies and reforms? I mean, various sectors that we speak to do believe that in the first 100 days, their sector will see some push or some positive reform coming in. For the diamond as an industry, are you anticipating something? Yes, I personally feel it's a very good news that we have Mr. Piyush Goel back in the Commerce Ministry and that makes our life more easy because he's understanding the whole segment very well and it will be easy for us and there are certain issues, uh, there are burning issues as far as the industry is concerned and we, are, we will be making sure that this time uh, we will be taking it forward once again and before this July budget, hopefully our demands will be considered. I will be sharing with you all the details wherever uh, when we are working on the budget proposal. But yes, surely we are looking forward from the support of the ministry for this segment. Mm. Mr. Shah, also, well, we've spoken about what all is happening within the sector directly, but indirectly as well, uh, there have been concerns globally. So while US and China haven't done so well, would you say Middle East perhaps seems to be uh, pushing up in or uh, picking up in some sense because the numbers there are slightly better? Yeah, agreed. I just want to just correct you. US has not, I mean, US has performed well comparatively. Okay. Middle East is doing good. Domestic market is also doing good. It's only the Far East Asia, Chinese market, which is not performed well, where we, are, we all are working towards that market. And with sure good amount of spending on the marketing pipe, we feel we should get back to uh, track. Hmm. Mr. Shah, also, uh, with the whole the, uh, you know concerns about around Russia restrictions, how has that impacted the Indian industry overall? And do you are we still feeling that impact? Uh, actually, to be honest, not yet. I'll tell you the reason behind it, because you see the demand and supply. So we are fighting currently the demand. We are not fighting the supply chain right now. Once the business is started growing, yes, we might be feeling the pinch until the coming month later on as far as supply is concerned. So honestly, we are not looking into the supply chain right now. We are just concentrating on the demand front. Point taken. So while we have spoken about a whole host of challenges, Mr. Shah, I also want to understand on what are the better opportunities that you're looking forward now. So if there's a roadmap that you have created for this financial year, what are uh, the plus points and what are the opportunities that GJPC is putting out? So yes, GJPC will be working hard. We'll be looking a lot of, uh, of initiatives will be taken as far as demand is concerned. With a lot of exhibitions, we are looking forward working starting from these IHS, our premier show, which is coming up in the month of August. So we'll try to bring on all international customers. We'll be making sure the Asia Pacific and uh, South Asia, all the major customers are brought in. We need to work together, bring that confidence back and make sure that we create a huge opportunity for our members. All right, Mr. Shah, we look to a brand new year forward. And obviously, as you said, you will be sharing with us the detailed budget representation as well. The expectation is that in the month of July, when the finance minister puts it out, a lot of sectors perhaps would be taken into consideration. And Gems and Jewelry is going to be one of that. Thank you so much for taking time out for us today and uh, detailed discussion on Gems and Jewelry as well that you've provided with us. With that, we are heading into a short break. But coming up from the natural diamonds, we shift focus to lab-grown diamonds. Stay tuned.